Enough about that. me. So we just saw JJ play um, Sherbert, which is another Peach similar to Napkins. I think Napkins is a little bit better. Yeah. I think Napkins understands that he doesn't always need to be down smashing in neutral randomly. Granted, he just did it randomly <laughs> when as JJ he was right was far there. Away. <laughs> Yeah, Napkins and Sherbert are the two infamous down smashers of Arizona. <laughs> and, of course, down smashing in the way they do is very easy to counterplay if you know what to do. But Napkins has been better recently at picking his spots and understanding when he needs to do his down smashes a little bit better. He hasn't been doing them as much, and they've been a little bit smarter. Which is good. It's something that a lot of novice peaches can especially fall into. Yeah, because it's not a hard thing to do. It's not oh, yeah, hard to hit. <laughs> And it looks like so, and it works too. Like you know, hey, yeah. it's a great move. <laughs> it's a good move that doesn't require really any execution whatsoever. Yep. So it's like, it's, I can understand, and and it leads into a lot of good things. So yeah, that's absolutely. why it's definitely easy for novice players to just spam it. However, it's not really as simple as just hit the down, hit down on the C stick and win. Right, because not everyone is gonna waltz on into that, you know. Yeah. Not every time, at least. Granted, that might work sometimes against some people. It's true. It works often, I would say. But the higher but level you get, exactly, the, you get the less the consistent you get with it. Definitely, it's not it's not going to work once you hit a certain round of bracket. Because yeah, you know, you look at like the top players. You know, like Armada has featured great, but he doesn't spam the down smash by any means at all. No. All right, so ooh, that was an interesting down smash. I think, I think he had that already. Yeah. yeah, I think he reacted to the fact that JJ had already went high, in which in that spot it's good. If he was doing it on prediction. Then I wouldn't agree with it, but it worked anyways. Napkin's punish game pretty solid. Ooh, a lot of shines coming out. Oh, that was a really good uh, DIN by Napkin's. Dab smash kill? Yes, it does. Surprised I did, actually. Dreamland is so big, I don't think it would work. Yeah, he died off the side. He, yeah. I, he was trying to do the perpendicular DI, survival DI, I think, and he kind of didn't quite go. Wasn't enough. Yeah. I think JJ, I was listening to JJ commentating a napkin set recently and he was talking about how napkins didn't down smash as much anymore. And I think he's expecting napkins to down smash less because he's running into a lot of them that he should. Yeah, he is. Because normally, normally JJ plays a lot more patient and smart than that. So maybe we can see some adaption on his end. Or adaptation, I should say. Yeah, potentially, but oh. Great slow, kill again. Yeah, slow wave shine up smash, but he definitely got it. <laughs> I, I think Napkins could have shielded it, but whatever. It worked. Up throw. He went for the up air, but JJ did a really nice tag. Yeah, avoided that one. It's always a grab bag with that Peach forward smash. I love seeing it. Ooh, that weak hit was definitely crouch cancelable, but he got out of the way quickly. Definitely gonna be really important because he wants to stay in this thing. Real close game. Ooh, that it? Ooh, that DI was... That could be it. And that will be the first game to Napkins. Uh, he wasn't expecting the reverse hit. So, according to the stream, this is the other side of Winter Semis, so... Okay. This Perfect. is pretty much... I think most of this top four was accepted. I don't know if... Actually, TK Money beating me is not really a huge surprise, so pretty expected. Top four. Okay, okay. Quick starts off. Ooh, great shines. Okay, good. Good comboing. Um, those back airs were a little interesting. I yeah. don't really think he needed to place them there. The napkins clearly wasn't going to be in the area that he was trying to cover. Maybe just a flub, I don't know. Could be, yeah. I don't see enough uh, box down tilts, I feel like. Underrated. Um, against Peach, it's not too great. What it can be good for is if the Peach is not consistent at sweet spotting or up B, it could right. be a good edge guard maybe. But even then, it's not really the most consistent edge guard, I want to say. Right. I'm not too sure. I haven't labbed it much myself, but. I saw him go for one there, and I was like, interesting. So, I, don't, I just realized I didn't see it a lot, so. Might be why, because it's not like ideal. <laughs> So I don't know if JJ did that intentionally, but when he got hit by that down smash, he held down for just a little bit so that he got hit by the second hit, and he gets that into the stage instead of out. If that was intentional, that was smart by JJ, because otherwise he'd just been off stage. And uh, JJ? Nice two stock advantage for Napkin so far. So I think I play the loser of this, assuming I win my next set. Okay. And I don't want to be biased on the mic, but I definitely want JJ to win, because I'm much more confident at beating Napkins than JJ, but... Mm. I think I play them. I don't want to lose this. I'm not sure. But I gotcha. regardless, um, both of them, great players, Definitely. put in work. Made in the semifinals. Yeah. 
Nothing to sneeze at by any means. So I can tell you right now, my set record versus Napkins is infinitely better than it is than my <laughs> set record versus JJ. But well, JJ is bringing it back after being down two stocks. Yeah. He, back in this game, by all means. His punishes, since he got dropped to those two stocks, have been a lot better. I think he's kind of focused a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, he's definitely understanding the play more. Playing more confidence, looks like, too. So I don't agree with JJ's uh, choice to down smash after those wave shines. I felt like he should have grabbed and then done up throw up airs. Mm -hmm. Because I think he could have got, actually, I don't think he could have got a second up air, but he still could have followed up off of that. Mm -hmm. So the down smash, I mean, Peach is going to be able to grab the ledge from there at mm -hmm. that percent, so I really don't agree with it. Definitely, man. Good up smash. That'll kill. Wave shine up smash, one of my favorite combos in the game. It's a classic, you know? If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Yeah. Well, it's broken in some ways, but hey. <laughs> yeah, it is definitely broken. <laughs> Another see, one down smash. See, again, I don't agree with that choice because the unless, combo depends. I mean, it could be good at high percent, but even then, up smash is better. Ooh, the air and air dodge that will kill him. Yeah, JJ looks a little bit frustrated. He said something pretty loudly. I didn't hear what he said, but. Uh, all right, so JJ, I hope he, that doesn't get into his head. Yeah, see, he's not like excited. Yeah, he's not happy with that. I mean, it's an even game. I don't think he should be too... Granted, this is rich coming from me, but I don't think he should be getting frustrated at this point. It's still even. He definitely still, still got it. Yeah, he definitely still got it. Yeah, it's by he's no only means. down 1-0. Yeah, and I mean, it's not really a huge percent deficit. He's Fox. He wave shine up smash will kill pretty early. Right. He needs to land that one, and it'll be pretty good. Uh, I don't agree with that run-in. Napkins missed... Oh. oh, no. Man, despite Napkins butchering that edge guard. Yeah, JJ also butchered his ledge dash. It, yep. So, definitely not the best play from JJ after that tilt. Is he going to switch? No. Okay. no back I, saw to battlefield. His, I saw his cursor move. I thought he was going to either go Puff or Marth. Mm, so I'm glad he's sticking to the Fox. Yeah. He's built that confidence with it, especially if he wants to stay in the set. He does the drill from ledge, the Jacob Green. I, I approve. <laughs> he Trade does mark. it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Even though it didn't work, I still. Oh, he does it again, and just still doesn't work. All right, JJ really feeling drills from ledge, even though they're not safe in the slightest. That will be a good stock for napkins. Yeah, that's pretty um, good. That's clean. Ooh, God. he got a lot. He got a lot, a lot off of JJ drilling from ledge. Ooh, is that a clean? That's yeah, a that's a great shine, Spike. Yeah, I like his choice to get ledge invincibility then shine because napkins really didn't have anywhere else he could go. So very smart choice. Indeed, just like that. Hey, tied up again. Oh, I think napkins was gonna try to do it up there. I'm not too sure. I'd or tilt definitely wasn't going to reach. Yeah. Crouch cancel down smash. You have to be careful with weak aerials on Peach. Oh, not even going to try to recover that. Just takes it. Yeah, he accepted his fate. He yeah. got one. <laughs> he got a bullet. Oh, oh no, the no. battlefield. All right, this is going to be rough for JJ. Yeah, this is going to be really difficult for him to come back from now. If he's in his in his own head right now, this is going to be really rough for him. But if he plays smart, I think he could definitely do it. He's going to really got to concentrate on this, but those down smashes are not his friend right now. Yeah, JJ just raised his hand. Yeah, no, he's and he's, he's out. That'll be 3-0 for Napkins. All right, JJ definitely...